For this video we're going to continue our look at the nodes that sit under the function section here in node red and we're going to focus on the delay node let's have a look at, at this delay node it's very simple so all it's doing here I have two inject nodes which I'll come on to in a minute that are going to send a message through to my debug and then this is just going to delay the message so you might want this for things that we you know, refer to as switch bounce so if somebody's pressing a button they have to hold it for two seconds for for it to you know you know, go through to the next part of the routine uh, but it's purely a delay so let's double click on this and have a look at the options delay each message we can have a rate limit okay so um, we'll come on to that in a minute, but let's start off with the delay each message. And for the delay each message, there's there's three options. You can have a fixed delay, so you program that here, five seconds. You can have a random delay, so anywhere between one and five seconds. Um, you can change it to milliseconds, days and hours, by the way. You can have a fixed delay that you can override with a message delay. This brings me on to my two inject nodes. So I have one here that's just um, sending a message, hello sexy for five seconds. But this one is also sending a message delay. And you have to be careful because the time that you put here is in milliseconds. So 10,000 milliseconds equals 10 seconds. So that's going to change my delay to 10 seconds. So. Um, I don't need to deploy that because it's already in my code. So if I hit, if I go to my debug window and hit my inject, wait for five seconds, I get my message. And for this one, I'm going to inject the message delay as well and a different message. So it's going to say, hello, hello, sexy, 10 seconds, but we're going to have a 10 second delay. If it was me, I would set it to this option all the time. And if there's no message delay coming through, then it will use this, this fixed delay. But you, at least you have the option in your code to, to, to override it with the message delay. So the next nice feature of the delay node is something that I would call a rate filter. So we have a look at this. I've, I've put here rate limit. Yep. And we're all messages. Now we've only got one message coming in from one inject node you can see it on the left hand side and what I'm saying here is we're only going to output one message every four seconds we can also have um, it so we can override that message limit with a message rate and we'll leave that on ticked for a minute and then this option here is what, what do you do with the messages that you, you're not sending through? So the, there'll be three messages every four seconds that we're just going to drop. We're not interested in. Uh, so you could have this for a fast reacting um, application where you need it to run in milliseconds, but you only want to send the data to, to the cloud, you know, every four seconds or, or even slower. Yeah. We don't, we're not interested in those other messages, uh, but you do have the option to queue or send the mes those messages out by a second output. I, I don't really see why you'd want to do that. We're just going to drop them. We have a, a debug node here, which is going to see the data coming out every second. And then every four seconds, we'll, we'll have this node. So if we just have a look at this over here, I'm getting a message every second. And then if I unclick that here now I will have a message roughly about every four seconds and I'm not doing any averaging or anything clever I'm just looking at my messages coming in which I've kept simple I've set, set it to every second and the fourth message is the one I, I, I allow through my node so it's, it's a good um, you know rate filter and I wouldn't use it for anything else more complicated than that because there's some be better blocks that you can add um, that do the, the averaging. So there you have it, the, the delay node, two functions, a time delay, 
or a rate filter. Please click on the like button and the notification bell because there will be more videos like this coming out any day soon. But for now, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.